Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for the next three months. We're going to talk about your romantic love life for July, August, and September. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so we're gonna be talking about July, August, and September. If you guys are interested in the June reads, they're already up and available for you guys to check out. We're also gonna look at the influences of your romantic love life, the advice, excuse me, who's coming towards you, and the advice. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You do both, let's jump right in. What's gonna have my Pisces romantic love life for July, August, and September. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so let's take a look here. So we got July. August. September. And the influence is, wow, you're getting a lot of attention. Six of Wands shows, yes, recognition, attention. You guys are getting really noticed. This is the person is coming towards you. Also, it seems like somebody really wants to get you out in front and center. There's someone who's really a cheerleader for you. You're not paying attention to them though, but they are into you. They're close by, they're close to you, closer than you think. So this is an interesting, your advice is talking about clarity, getting some answers, okay. So there is somebody around you because I see it, the overall energy, you're connecting with somebody and there is a love connection here relationship around this or a person that you are really connecting with that kind of feels like a, a person that you're into and they're into you. Okay, so Pisces, you're going to be ending a tough cycle coming up in the month of July. So the Ten of Swords is saying, okay, I know some people will say the Ten of Swords is portrayal, but Tens are always completion. So, and for me, I see the Ten of Swords, and the first readings that I do, I see the Ten of Swords is usually saying, yes, there has been some difficulties here, but it's over. It's, it's about to end for you guys. And that's good, because you'll start a new cycle, and now you're out of this tough period. You know, the tough cycle's over. This, this soon shall pass, that kind of energy. What's on my Pisces romantic love life? July, August, and September. Show me cards you need to see. Show me cards you need to see. All right, there's something about a sister, daughter, friend, or karmic around this. Let's use, you know, I haven't used this deck in a while. What's that my Pisces romantic love life? July, August, September, show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Time here. Okay. Hmm. So, well, we see a little bit of a narcissistic kind of energy, love bombing kind of energy, one-sided connection. That's about to be over, okay? So going further. Not my Pisces romantic love life. July, August, and September. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, it's about to go out with a bang. Uh, Tower card talks about shock and surprise about this person's heartache and sadness for you because you're gonna find out through this conversation. They weren't telling you. They weren't telling you. And we see there's this healing energy. Ooh, you're gonna be shocked and surprised about this person. You thought, you thought, guys, that the whole time, you're like, I'm heartbroken over this person, I can't believe they, they did this, da 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 da. 
And then you have this conversation, you're socializing with these people, and you find out, no, your person's really upset. They are sad, they've been healing from this connection. They're really upset. You're gonna be shocked about this when you find this out. <laughs> yep. There is some kind of manifestation here or you're gonna realize that they're like, no, Pisces is my ideal partner. You know, they were the person I wanted and they're thinking about you. There we go again. Three shocks, so yeah, wow, July is gonna be a shocking month. I can't wait to do the full reading on that. Okay, July is gonna be a shocking month for you guys. Yeah, because you're gonna get a lot of knowledge that's going to really surprise and shock you about this situation, about this person who's already uh, having heartache and sadness that was attached to some kind of karmic situation. Hmm. Wow, okay, so let's just go down, let's go down another layer on this. I'll use my deck, all right. New deck that I haven't refined yet that kind of looks, they're gonna stay, it's, it's rough, I know. Um, but I like a clear cut. So I'm gonna make it more pretty and then you'll see it's more clear cut. All right, so what's gonna have my Pisces romantic love life? July, August, and September. Show me guys you see, show me guys you too. Yeah, abundance is coming in for you guys. There were some concerns about the short-term abundance, but you found out you were the asset. Ha, huh. I told you. Oh man, okay, so what am, what am I getting at here? You thought this situation was short-term, that there was no abundance around it, and you know, it was this karmic situation, they were attached to somebody else, but you find out, wow, they were heartbroken and sad over you, and they saw you as the prize. Okay, basically, they saw you as the prize. So we see in the month of August, someone wants to hold on to you, and you're getting a lot of attention. And there is, again, we see some talking and speaking, friends talking and speaking about this deep love. And it looks like they're asking for help on how to fix the situation with you. There's gonna be an offer presented, a huge offer, Ace of Pentacles energy, or there's some huge potential with somebody. Okay, Pentacles have to do with money, family, children, long-term. Ooh, there's marriage involved in the situation. You're about to be really happy, joyful. This may feel like a spiritual connection or a spiritual sign on, in the month of August. Yeah, they're looking at you like, yeah, this is a good source. Um, I, I, I know I put good source of income, but what I mean is, um, I'm using business terminology to kind of make it more clear cut, okay? So it's like this person's gonna ask for help because they feel like, you know, basically, they feel like it, it, your value very valuable to them, right? You are very valuable to them. Okay, so looks like you're gonna be hanging out with some friends here, some celebration going on, a joyful energy around this situation, and someone's gonna show up at your door. And you're gonna be really confused because of this concern about family-family conflict but you're gonna find out about them, uh, this employment change. What I mean by employment change is they are leaving another connection to come forward to you. So this person, it looks to me like you're finding out a lot of this stuff through other people. And then you find out through this family situation, through this visit, that yeah, they're leaving that other person, that karmic. Okay, interesting, okay. Let's see what that Six of Wands is influenced by. Okay, we see something about money and finance around this situation. Oh, are they using them for money or something? Okay, let's keep going, let's keep going. Let's see who's coming towards you. So Page of Swords could be younger Gemini Libra Grace energy, or this person who, you got a new perspective, new understanding. It's definitely someone you're, you're mourning, someone that you had a sense that there was a loss around. Okay, let's go to the next card. Okay, so in the month of, wow, in the month of September, you find out they're single and available to pursue and you're surprised. You're like, what? And look at this. They're trying to, they're longing for your kiss. 
and you are about to be really happy and you're surrendering to this situation. Oh, wrong card here, sorry. And there's an offer presented. Yep, they're coming in as the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, as a solid connection, as someone who's interested in long-term, but there is concerns about stuck, stagnant, or feeling stuck in the middle of a situation. Yeah, because of old memories of the past. And we see someone who's trying to give some advice. And you're like, am I deluding myself? Is this illusions? Is this offer real? I know what you mean by that, though. Like, I've had situations where I'm, my intuition will tell me, like, yeah, this, 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 and that. But because sometimes you're dealing with a person who's kind of an avoidant, and they don't really want to show their hand, so you're kind of like, what's going on like why is it playing out like this but i know i know from my visions i know from my information that it should be like this but they're still coming off like this but then they'll slip up every once in a while and you'll be like you'll see through it and you'll be like mm, yep i'm right okay uh <laughs> i've definitely experienced that with someone and that is annoying <laughs> okay so we see this uh a sense of control yeah that's what i'm talking about they're in control, making it seem like, um, yeah, I'm like this, I'm like that. Like, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Where it's kind of like this stiff kind of energy, like they're not showing all their hand, you know? But your intuition's telling you, right? There you go, it's exactly the, the situation I described. Their intuit, your intuition's telling you like, no, this is, this is, this, this is not right, no. I, I know, I know. Yep, and then look at that. It's gonna turn into some kind of passionate situation, even though they're gonna come off at first like a little bit stiff, a little bit standoffish, a little bit controlled, okay? Yes, they're going for it in the month of August for some passionate situation here. But you're still gonna be a little bit at a crossroads, a little bit indecisive about the whole thing. Uh, and we see there's a sense of guilt about this situation or someone who feels bad. Okay, so abundance and we see someone's going to gain the confidence to offer you something okay bring an offer in they're going to bring an offer in they're going to finally have the courage to ask in the short term you feel like yes this is good a good thing but you're concerned that something is illusion or there's some kind of lying or deceptions and you're realizing that they do feel like you're you're the prize but there is a sense of this changing of a connection, someone's leaving, this person's leaving this person to come forward, but they may still kind of be, there still may be an in-between there, which you feel bad about, there's some kind of feeling bad about it. Okay, shock and surprise about love and happiness, healing, your intuition is telling you something, someone's giving you advice, about the secrets. Mm -hmm. You're finding out about these secrets from the family and other people around this person at first, which is leaving you at a crossroads. Because you're just like, when you finally do get in touch with them and meet up with them in the month of September, and you're like, okay, why is this person coming off this way? Like, I know the family said this, and I know the friends said this, and I know my intuition is telling me this, but why are they still kind of acting a little bit standoffish? So we see this love bombing, uh, this one-sided connection. We see friends talking about, oh yeah, they wanna, they wanna be with you. We see kissy kissy, and they, there are some deceptions and the happiness about this old memories, and they were like talking about it, and you were shocked and surprised in the state of confusion. And we see by that final time of August there, excuse me, September, then we finally see that there was some passion around that situation, some seduction going on there. All right, so we see this friend, sister, daughter, karmic. You're getting a lot of attention, you're surprised. We see a conversation about this marriage situation and feeling stuck in the middle. Then there's thoughts and plans. We see someone shows up. We see this intuition about this. So we see a visit. Okay, so ending a tough cycle, I want to hold on to you. I'm saying I'm available to pursue. We see there's heartache and sadness and an offer being presented, a huge offer being presented. And they're coming in as a serious long-term commitment there. 
you're my ideal partner. We see them hanging out and some friendship there and we see something about this power move that's gonna be made here, emperor card energy. Or a sense of control, emperor card energy. So if I look at it, to end of a tough cycle, when it comes to heartache and sadness, asserting your personal power to hold on to a situation, offer, celebration, more than one person involved in the situation. We see nine of pentacles, single and available to pursue, fulfilling your desires, making the wise decision in the long term because a power move is being made. You're about to get clarity. That's the advice, saying you are about to get answers and clarity. So get ready for the clarity that you need it, Pisces. Like, it seems like at first, though, you're just going to find out from other people. So let me get some advice, you guys. Can I have some advice my Pisces? For the romantic love life, for the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them. August, excuse me, July, August, and September. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see her Pisces. Okay, surrender so to this situation. Just focus on getting, having really good self-esteem because congratulations on your abundance. There's no need to worry here, Pisces. There's going to be an apology. Stay uh, structured, organized, focused, disciplined. Uh, when it comes to the sense of blame, don't worry. You're going to be able to preserve this situation. Okay, my beautiful darlings. I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below, Pisces. You know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. I do read my comments. I love hearing from you guys. So if this resonates, you want to feel comfortable, you want to share your personal situation with me, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I'll see you guys soon.